Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I just stumbled upon this research project which seems quite promising and interesting. The basic idea behind this project is to test out the coding generation and facilitation among team setting when it comes to code generation with the help of AI with agentic software. So what it does is it's an AI powered code generation tool for scratch development of web application. I think it is better explained with their diagram which they have shared in their GitHub repo. So if you look at it, what it does is it allows you to simply organize your team, development team I mean, and decide on what to build. So in that team, you have product owner, you have engineer, architect, project manager, designer, and you can even add other team members too. Once your team is ready, then you assemble a group of AI agents on the basis of that team structure and then those AI agents work together powered by LLM to carry out the steps like choosing the right leader for each step, then leader creates a plan of action for each step and then it works with team member to complete every task in the action plan. So primarily behind the scene LLM is pulling all the strings in order to get this working it has uh, the whole idea of self-healing and then self-reflection and then it produces the end result for you at the moment it only deals with javascript if i am correct uh, and react but they are also looking to get more languages supported very soon also it's a very very new project and the current situation around it is that it's a research project so don't even try to deploy it in production or try to use it in any of your uh, serious project. But I think wait for a few months and then I'm more than sure this is going to be very much in uh, production because the product looked really promising. So I'm going to not only show you the architecture, but I will also give you the steps as how you can also get it installed and then play around with it. Also, it doesn't work with any local models like Olama, Lama.cpp and any other framework. So you would need a closed source API based model for it. You can use, I believe, Anthropics Cloud or OpenAI's model. And you can even go with Langchain, which does open up a sort of a gateway to use open models. But still, uh, you I would still uh, believe you would need a paid service or paid LLM for it. I'm going to use OpenAI. So you would need an API key from OpenAI and that will be available from platform.openai.com. Okay, so enough talk. Let's try to see how we can get it installed. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPU so do check them out so this is the VM which I'm going to use and this is my GPU card in VDRTX rtx a 6000 courtesy matched compute let's first create a virtual environment with Conda I'm just calling it star let's wait for it to finish and the virtual environment is created next up let's git clone the repo I'm just calling it GPT all star Okay, so it says it's okay. Uh, no, so I think I would just need to give it a proper URL because what is happening here is it is using the Git credentials, which I don't have. So I have now gone with HTTPS. This should work. And that is done. Let's clear the screen. Next step, let's create an environment file. They already have provided a sample file. I'm just renaming it. And if you open this file, you will see that there are a lot of options you have in terms of API based models. I will be using OpenAI, so I'm just going to go with, I'll just keep it as OpenAI. If you are using Azure, you can just replace it with Azure or Anthropic if you're using cloud models. So I'll just keep GPT 4o as my model, and then here I'm going to give it my API key from OpenAI, and then I will save and exit. So I have saved the file. Next up, we need to use docker so make sure that you have docker installed with the recent version if you don't know how to install it please cite the channel i already have done the video on it so as you saw that i have the docker installed next up let's give the permission to this uh, docker file 
uh, and docker socket and now let's not this one let's now build the docker and then we will run it and for building just run this command make build and that should be enough the build is in the progress it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish okay all the containers are built now it took around three minutes let me clear the screen next up let's bring everything up with the help of makeup and you can see that now the container is created the docker one and it has also been started and now you can access it in your browser at port 7681 and that will get you logged in to that container here you would need to install your dependencies by just simply doing poetry install which is a python package manager and it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it and everything is installed now now in order to run this gpt all star with all the agents because they also already have configured it all you need to do is to run this command poetry run gpt all star so there you go so it is asking me um, what is the name of the project you can just say my test or whatever let's not and then it is asking me okay these are the roles so if i just scroll up you will see that okay so we have a team now who so name is product owner is steve jobs and this is a profile of it and then dh is engineer and then there is a uh, you can see the detail there jeff dean is architect and jonathan ive is a designer then we have q engineer sam altman okay I, i'm not sure if i would hire him but let's see um we'll see we'll think about it Elon Musk uh, project manager uh, I'm also not sure about him I would need to interview him first it is asking me what kind of application I want to build I will say um, I want an application that's going to print hello world on screen yes I don't want any complex one I don't want to spend fortune on API calls so I have pressed enter it says what type of application do you want to build client side or full stack uh, well let's go with client side and then it is just planning doing something and then it is i think um, this is a langsmith one because i think this it uses uh, it for instrumentation at the back end because we haven't given any api key of langsmith so that is fine and you see it is thinking it is just talking yeah because you see it's still about langsmith and all that stuff that is fine and then it is still running have a cup of coffee and relax well if your api credits are falling how could you relax but anyway so i will let it run it is going to take a bit of a time of course but the idea is good as you can see that it has built the team by itself and i will shortly show you where you can alter that team you can reduce the number of people you can increase it you can define more roles very flexible you can just go with it so because um let me quickly check my ap credits okay so it is quite expensive already it has spent around two dollars with just uh these sort of files and it's just adding five files it seems now jonathan is saying uh, and of course if you would just put in langsmith api here it is going to suppress these so all of them are working talking with each other i will let it run okay it is now just doing the index.html in this directory which is quite cool It is still running and so far it has consumed $6 uh, from OpenAI. Now meanwhile it runs, let me take you to their repo just to show you where you can define these agents. So in the repo, of course, we already have it on locally, but you would go to this GPT all start directory. From here, you will see this agents.yaml. And if you open it, this is where they have defined it. You can edit it, you can just put in your own role and then you can assign the profile to them this is how easy it is so you can just define it as per your own team so let's go here okay, it is still running i'll just wait for a couple more minutes to see how it goes otherwise i'll cancel it 
and there you go it has produced some of the files as you can see here but it has taken long time for just just to produce these few files but it's a full stack I mean, not a full stack a client side application but you can easily build a full stack one my only worry is which is i think should be a worry for everyone is that it could be really costly with these api based run already um it has spent around six dollars as you can see but you can see that now it is just doing qa and then it is defining entry point but um if you are really looking to create a serious production grade application i think it is going to create it but the problem with it is that it is going to take long time it will be really good that it they could just uh, give us some local models like all olama based or any other that would be really cool anyway so it is now running it locally i'll just wait for one more minute before i go bankrupt so let's see how it goes okay it is uh, taking long long time so i'm not going to spend more time on it but all in all i believe pretty good concept uh, but i think they need to review the support for the local llms let me know what do you think if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching